Around two weeks before the US presidential election, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is drawing attention by visiting strategic missile bases that house intercontinental ballistic missiles, the kind that could potentially strike the US mainland. That's according to North Korean state media Wednesday, and note the use of the word strategic, which implies nuclear weapons. And just to spell it out, the North's KCNA news agency insisted in its report that the increasing threats posed by the US urgently demand that North Korea more definitely bolsters its war deterrence and takes a thorough and strict counteraction posture of the nuclear forces. Remember that the North also recently disclosed its uranium enrichment operations for the first time. During his inspection, Kim reviewed the key functions and capabilities of the missile base's launch facilities and the operational readiness of the North's strategic missile units. And all this comes against the backdrop of North Korea being accused of deciding to send around 12,000 troops to join Russia's war in Ukraine. The claim was spelled out by South Korean intelligence officials last week, though Russia has refused to confirm it, and North Korea on Monday dismissed the accusation as groundless. Incidentally, a pro-Russian blogger posted an image on Monday showing Russian and North Korean flags side by side on a Ukrainian battlefield. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky also offered an update from his side Tuesday that he'd obtained information that two brigades of North Korean troops made up of 6,000 each are undergoing training to fight alongside Russia. And the North Korean leader's powerful sister Kim Yo-jong added her voice Tuesday by condemning South Korea and Ukraine as bad dogs bred by the US with lunatics in their respective governments. She warned against provoking the North, a nuclear weapons state as she put it, saying that doing so can lead to a horrible situation. And she implied that North Korea and Russia are both countries with nuclear capabilities not to be taken lightly while viewing the US as the source of bad dog behavior. Meanwhile, the countdown continues until that American election and what else Pyongyang might do.